All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cade Gaming. Today, I am very excited to show you guys something that is brand new and massive. I am sure most everyone on the internet by now has heard of Pal World. Um, this is a game that seems to be taking the internet by storm. I know they've already had over 2 million copies purchased, uh, over a million concurring players, it's something that's pretty massive, and so of course I said I have to check this out and move it to the front of my lineup. Um, I want to kind of give you guys a demonstration of the game. Um, this game is a little bit less linear. It is kind of like an open world survival game with Pokemon element elements as well. Um, so I'm going to do some cutting so I can show you guys, you know, a couple of different things. Um call this coffee land oh my gosh cannot type today um and one of the things that i love the most i'll start right off the bat by saying you can decide whether you want your game to be multiplayer or not and you can change the difficulty as well including there are custom settings and when i say custom i mean you can change just about everything right i can make it so there's less of a death penalty you gain more experience and faster stuff like that too I'm going to keep it normal for now, and my note, just so everybody knows, standard game balance, when you die, all equipment and materials are dropped on the spot. Um, so go ahead, grab a coffee, and let's dive right in. All right. Um, so I'll start by saying, just so everybody knows, this game is in early access. So right now there are some things that I think, of course, are, are maybe a little unpolished. But one of my goals in this video is to tell you, like, is it worth it? You know, um, right off the bat, just so you know, it is more of that survival game. So, so you're kind of on a time crunch. There is no pausing. For example, when you open the menu, time keeps going. Um, to give you guys a lay of the land here, on the bottom left, you can see my health bar and my hunger bar. You can also see warmth, right? You can be cold or warm. And you can see the time of day. Uh, from there... You already see pals roaming around. Uh, most of these early pals, they don't aggro you. Uh, so you can kind of walk near them. And then this right here is a shrine for fast travel. Uh, it works great. Um, doing different things throughout this game are going to give you those technology points like you just saw. That'll actually allow me to then go into my technology menu. And as I level up... I will then be able to spend technology to craft new things. One of my favorite things about this game, truthfully, is that you do kind of gain experience from most everything I've found. You know, whether I'm just picking stuff up off the ground, chopping down trees, capturing pals. Um, I have found in the past, like, hidden treasure chests and recipes and tablets. Um, and I think it's really, really fun because, you know, for me, I would like to clarify and say... I do not really play survival games very often. I would not say I'm the best at it, um, nor do I really play like base building games. You know, I'm not the most inventive person, but this game had me hooked like so many other people. You know, when I when I ask the question to myself when, when thinking about this video and I said, okay, is it worth it? Can I recommend it? This game is in early access and it's already so much fun if you look at these graphics they are beautiful the map alone right this is just how much i've discovered or i haven't even discovered all these other areas but you know it's massive this is where i spawned uh but so to kind of get things off off to a start here uh what you want to do you want to gather wood off the ground and or walk up to these things that are outlined in white so you can get some stone um i have no materials yet in terms of like axes and stuff for tools so i am going to have to do that and this game's tutorial for people who are kind of new this game is very open-ended so you can kind of do things at the pace you want with the exception of you have to give yourself shelter to stay warm and you have to you know give yourself food to maintain your hunger you can also see next to my character here, as I do actions, whether I'm attacking here with left click, whether I'm sprinting with shift, or anything like that. I have dodge roll as well. That uses up stamina. You can see my stamina bar there. And that just regens over time. 
Um, the tutorial is just the quest in the top right for now. I am sure they will probably change that uh, like a little bit in the final version of the game. So open the options menu with escape. Check the survival guide. They do, one of the things I love in their survival guide, right? It is very drawn out. Game objective, right? What should I do first? <laughs> they have the obvious for people like myself who really, you know, I jump into a survival game. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to craft. I usually like a little more direction. This game helps you, right? It tells you to go gather things. It tells you to build a pal box so that you can have a base established. Stuff like that as well. Um, it makes me really happy. Uh, so next you can see up there, it says open the build menu with B. Select the primitive workbench and set the build location. So I'm going to press the B button. I have it right here and I see I already have enough wood to make my workbench. I'm just going to set it right here. And then to build things, you hold F. And for those wondering, by the way, those things, uh, all those, those hotkeys, those are all rebindable. So I can already, you know, do different things. Uh, open the technology screen. Here we go. I can now select a pal box. Yes, I'm going to need that. The spheres, right? A campfire. Um, I already, you can see down here, I have four technology points. I'm going to go ahead and unlock all of these because I'm going to need them, right? Structure. It won't let you go to sleep at night if you don't have the bed placed inside of a house with, with a roof and everything. So from here, what I want to do, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to craft a... Um, see oh i do have enough okay i'm gonna make my first pal sphere so start production then you do have to hold down a button to work and then press it again to acquire it i think while i am here as well let me see do i have enough to make both i do okay i'm gonna go ahead and make a pickaxe because i do want to have you know faster mining and also faster cutting wood cutting ability Here we go. And acquire. And the nice thing is you can have multiple things equipped here at a time. And then just to scroll through, I just use a mouse wheel. And I can still punch if I want to. Uh, because weapons have durability, which is really, really key. So my tools, right, as I use this, um, uh, I will work down the durability on my pickaxe and on my hatchet. And to clarify, you see those red numbers. I'm doing way more damage than I was with my fist to show you an example here, right? 50 is a lot more than eights and nines. It's called chickpea. And I start punching it to weaken it. I could throw the sphere early on to try and catch it, but I wanna make sure it's just a little lower HP. There we go, it's probably close enough. Then to catch it, I hold down Q, aim, and it's a 100% chance right there, which is perfect. And we have it. And so now you can see its health bar down there in the bottom left. I do have it equipped on my E. Um, other than that, essentially, you can continue to fight them as well and knock them out. And they give you, you can see on the left, I just got some poultry and some egg. That's stuff you can use to eat. Um, I can summon that pal if I hold down the E button and throw it. I can summon it and drop it as I like. Uh, and then from there, you know what I mean? Uh, usually pals have different abilities as well, which is nice, right? Some of them might give you shields or something like that. Um, this one lays an egg. Uh, press the E button and it brings it back, which I think is great. So outside of that, you can see in the top right, I still have more quests. Something I really love about this game, the quests just keep coming for this tutorial. On my primary island, I'm already, I think, level five or something like that. I just keep doing stuff, and it's honestly so much fun. Um, you do see my health bar, or sorry, my hunger bar is running down to take care of that. I have these berries. I can right-click to consume, and I can use them on myself or my chickpea, and it will fill up my bar. The chickpea itself, mostly full, but to heal, right, it'll heal and then use up some hunger over time as well. So super easy there if you want to heal your pals. It does not take very long either. My next quest is to build a pal box. I'm going to press B. I'm going to go to the pal section right here. I can scroll through this with my wheel. 
I'm gonna select this. I do have enough. I'm gonna click it. And in setting this PAL box, essentially this is going to create my home base, if that makes sense. This will be my, my personal space. And then in doing this, I can then assign pals to do stuff. So this is where, right, I can craft a ranch so that the chickpea can start laying eggs. Um, my pals can start building stuff for me if I put a bunch of items in the queue, stuff like that. Later on, you can start farming and watering. Um, so I will, I will actually, you know, essentially show you guys some of the stuff that I have. And something that I love very much, it's quick and easy. I can drag and drop. And now, that chickpea is going to stay here in the base. It's going to heal over time. Um, and then you see, so I still have the tutorial up there, but now I also have base missions. When I complete those base missions, it levels up my base. So to give you an example, it says build a wooden chest. So I press B, go to the storage, go to wooden chest. I'm going to need some wood. I'll cut back in a minute. I'll show you guys what it looks like after I have some wood. All right, now we have our wood. I press B to build. I click on the chest. And I'm going to set it right here. And this game, by the way, already has, I think, one of my favorite, favorite quality of life upgrades in a survival game. I do not need to have the item in my inventory to craft. I can place all of the wood, all of the rocks and fiber and seeds, everything inside this chest, right? And I can still craft items over here without removing them from the chests. That, to me is like number one what I want in games with crafting. I do not want to worry about inventory management too much. Uh, so from here, now that I've done my quests, I can press V for the base upgrade. I've already accomplished my first missions and you can see here what my reward is. I'll be able to place more pals at the base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut to my main world here so I can show you guys what I can do uh, a little bit later. Not far, far later, but just a little bit. All right, so here we are. You can see I have a little bit more of a base built. I have a few more items, a few more pals and everything, not too much further. Um, the game to me is really fun because, you know, for example, you can see I have a lamp ball here helping to build this ranch when I help the completion time goes down because I'm a little bit more progressed. Um, and on top of that too, as you do things, you'll unlock more points that you can then use to unlock new recipes, new crafting practices, you name it. To me, it's just a really, it's a constantly rewarding practice right here. You know, it's one of those things where where every time I do something, it's like, you did a good job. Here's a reward and here's your next task, you know? Um, which I think to, that's what I, I need direction. I absolutely need direction in what I am doing. That is, is so vital for my entertainment. Um, but the cool thing too is I'm sure people who don't, people who want the freedom, they can just say, I want to go around. I'm just going to start catching all the pals. You know what I mean? I'm going to go do my own thing. I'm not going to worry about what the game tells me to do. Um, there is fall damage, something that I think is so very, very important for, for people to know. I learned that lesson the hard way, of course. And again, when you die, you drop everything that you have equipped. So just be cognizant of that. Uh, there are hidden things like this treasure. I love it requires a copper key. I do not have one of those right now. Yeah. I also still don't have clothes or accessories or anything like that. Uh, some of my friends have been playing nonstop. They are absolutely hooked. And I have seen them, like, they've progressed pretty far, right? Their levels are in their 30s. This game has been out, like, four or five days. Uh, I'm guessing there are even people on the internet who are farther than that. Um... But overall, this game to me, it is worth it, right? The question I asked at the beginning, is it worth it? I think Pal World, as someone who does not play survival games, is addictive. I think it is super fun. I think it is one of those things that I find myself thinking about when I'm not playing it. You know, when I'm at work, I'm like, oh, I kind of want to be doing this. Also, super fun with friends, right? You can go find bosses out in the world, of which there are many. Um, thus far, the game has 111 pals for you to catch. Um, there are different biomes, right? So you're going to find different creatures in different places. 
And yes, it is early access, but it hasn't felt bad. For me, it has not felt like there are any egregious issues or errors where I am shocked at this or that. There are certain quality of life things I think that are missing I would like to see. And they have already said that they will do those. A great example is character customization. Once you create your character, you cannot change your image, your look in any way. That is something I don't have yet, but I'm sure will be coming at some point. Uh, but I think that to me is is pretty important in any game nowadays. You know, in, in 2024, you should have character customization available, even if for a small fee, right? If I need to go spend some money, some currency to do it. Um, other than that, I think maybe having a more fleshed out tutorial would probably improve the game as well. I love that you can do what you want, but the game does just drop you in. And I think people who have literally never played a survival game, people who have absolutely no experience, they might not know to even look at their hunger bar, their health bar, their their temperature gauge, all that stuff. And so I just think, you know, having a tutorial that's a little bit more linear and then letting it open up into this beautiful, massive world where you can then do whatever you want, I think that might be a little bit smarter in the long run. It might make the game a little more accessible and give people more staying power. I found an effigy. Um, and then other than that, this game is golden. It is beautiful. You can see my graphics here are just stunning, especially, again, for an early access game. Um, I am having a blast playing it. Um, if you like this game, let me know if there's stuff that I missed. Obviously, I'm barely scratching the surface. This is a game you can spend so many hours on, and it's 30 bucks. Um, like the video, of course, if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more. I am definitely going to keep playing this. I will be playing with friends. I cannot wait to show more content because there is so much more to show you. For example, my base is hardly built at all. I don't have my pals, you know, mining or, or farming very much yet. That is a big part of it. Um, and of course, don't forget, if you like this video, I am releasing new videos weekly. Please do not forget to subscribe. I appreciate your support. I have loved all of the comments. Thank you so much for your, your time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your coffee and happy gaming.